Wood Grinder Guy here again. We just left that site that we were at. And now we're at our other job site in a landfill. We're running a 330 CAD excavator and a Duratec 310 grinder. And we've been having problems with this conveyor too. Like it's been conveyor week over here. Never mind shark week. It's been conveyor week. And nothing but problems. Uh, as soon as they start stalling, yeah, obviously, I mean, it, it jams up and it creates, just creates havoc. It's a beautiful day. But the material that we're feeding in isn't, uh, is very pretty. Lots of contaminants. I did look online quite a bit before I bought the Duratec trying to get some information on production rates and how this thing would handle, you know, stuff like this, some C and D material. And I couldn't find anything online that was really worth watching or doing or whatnot. Now, we also have to take care of the green waste that's here. And um, one thing I'd like to say, backtracking a little bit, is that I, I'm actually really happy with the production for the size of the machine. It's running a four and a quarter cat, well, a C C15. And it's really, it's been good on inserts. Um, it's been good on kicking out material heavy steel when, and when we're hitting it and um, I bought this machine 4,000 hours on it I didn't even look I, I took up when uh, for a quick little look didn't even try it nothing it got delivered and we threw it right away on a job and it's I'm happy I'm happy with it I'm ha I, I, I honestly was not I can't say I wasn't a Duratec fan but I wasn't looking forward to buying a Duratec. I never really would have bought one. But after, I don't regret my decision. There's no two ways about it. The reason why we bought this one, we needed a grinder yesterday and there was nothing available in used grinders. Nothing. So we, we found this one. Uh, Salesman Scott was extremely helpful. I've got my young lad on the remote and um, Again, conveyor issues. Now, I'd have to say it's because it's, it's you know, they're worn. I have to put a little bit of time into them. Just trying to get through a couple of jobs before I can really get rid of all this. Put some new conveyors and whatnot. And um, that's, that's where we're at now. So I was going to say that I did do some green in the brush. It's extremely effective it works really well um, with the 330 cat you know she it, it doesn't have to work too hard to feed it but you got to be steady because you can't take huge bites the one thing I do have to say though is in bigger logs you know material that hasn't been cut to three foot bigger log material oh see here we go again another it just I tell you problems we're having with this is frustrating, frustrating, frustrating. So again, back to what I was saying, um, the, the bigger logs, it's very difficult. It takes a long time to process. It's not very effective. I'm not happy with that. So we went to Quadco and we bought some, some chipper teeth that I will give you a demo on. Uh, I haven't seen anything online that shows them. So I will... Um, once we put those on, I'll keep you posted, but it looks like we're going to have to shut down here and, and figure this thing out because it is absolutely frustrating. So stay tuned and um, yeah, welcome to the wonderful world of grinding.